Dr. Erica with Rosie Research, and we're doing some of our add-on activities for our Pirate's Treasure. And um, I actually just wanted to look at one of the pieces of this lab that um, is called One Floats, One Sinks. And it's on this page of the lab. And you look at a ping pong ball and a golf ball, and it asks you to draw some forces and talk about, think about why does one float and one sink. So I actually have the stuff so we can look at it here. So if I take a ping pong ball, I put it on there, it floats on my water pretty easily. And that's because it's sinking a little bit into the water and that little part is called displacing water. It's pushing water away. And all of the water that it pushes away wants to get back in and that pushes this ping pong ball up. And the ping pong ball is so light that it's kind of happy sitting there. Now if I take something else, like let's say a bouncy ball, because I didn't have a golf ball, and if I were to try to displace the same amount of water, that water that's displaced, it can't push hard enough up against this ball because the ball is so heavy. So what happens? My ball sinks. And that's because it's more dense than our ping pong ball. Our ping pong ball, they're about the same size, it doesn't weigh very much. Whereas a bouncy ball or a golf ball, that's pretty heavy. So density is how much mass do you have, a ping pong ball doesn't have very much, for how big it is. So if I take two things of the same size and one's really heavy and one's really light, one will sink and the other will float. Now of course, this is only floating because it's pushing the water out and that water wants to come in and push it up. That's what makes what's called the buoyant force. It pushes back up on that ping pong ball. So if I took a ping pong ball that had a bunch of holes in it, what do you think would happen? Do you think that it would float or do you think that it would sink? Because this is about the same density as this guy, right? So the only difference is, is that the water can get in here. And when I put it in, we'll see that as the water gets in, my ping pong ball, it starts to sink. And that's because it's not pushing enough water away. It can't push the water away because the water just comes in through those holes. So that gives you kind of an idea about how these things work and what creates buoyancy. So you want to be able to keep the water out you want to keep as much water out, you want to displace water as it goes sort of down into the water. So if I push it down, it actually pushes up even more. You can make this ping pong ball jump out, right? And you want it to have a very low density so that something that's the same size, if it has a low density, is going to float on the water. If it has a high density, it's going to sink. Now, if I have something like a ping pong ball, I could probably load this up with a lot of treasure before it starts to sink. So that's something to think about as you're building your ships. Hopefully you'll be joining us with our Pirate's Treasure Lab this month. Um, become a patron so that you can get them every month as they come out, or you can also get them individually online at rosyresearch.com shop.